Uh, hello, this is Dean Takashi Adventure Beat. I'm here at the, one of uh, Gillette's uh, uh, product events here. And uh, tell us about what it is. Uh, yeah. First, uh, tell us who you are. Absolutely. Uh, well, thank you very much for stopping by, first yeah. and foremost. My name is Ahmed, and I work at the Gillette Company, which is part of the Procter & Gamble. Mm -hmm. uh, we're super excited to be here again this year at CES in 2020. Uh, because we were here last year, uh, we showcased the working prototype of the Gillette Heat Adraiser. Uh -huh. uh, what we're very excited about being here again is that this is actually the final retail model that we have and what the product does is basically gives you a sensorial experience of a hot towel shave uh -huh. why that is you would ask when we talk to consumers and we tell them what is the best shave they always tell us it's a hot towel barber shave hot towel barber shave and we wanted to work on a product that you can use at home yourself without having to go to the barber or without the actual hot towel uh -huh. you press on this button here it heats up within less than a second this warming bar right here mm -hmm. imitates heat and it has two heat temperatures mm -hmm. 109 and 122 that is mm -hmm. 43 degrees celsius all the way to 50 degrees celsius ah. and what it does it gives you that sensorial feel it has intelligent heat sensors what it basically does is keep in mind when you're shaving you have shave gel on shave oil on you have you're running it underwater and you want to make sure that temperature is maintained mm -hmm. through the shave mm -hmm. and this is what the heated razor is about it's won multiple awards since it's debuted here at ces last year and what is there something different about it this year that makes it a final product um, there are di like small nuances that are different from the prototype that we tested with in the gogo to the final model okay. the color is different the docking mechanism is different the charger is different and the battery optimization is actually different. Uh -huh. it has a magnetic wireless charging dock which is mm -hmm. docked in like this and it starts charging uh -huh. it will, the, sh the shave would last the, the, the full charge would last up to six to seven shaves on average uh -huh. approximately um and it's uh -huh. This actually could last you up to five years. Okay. To and this is uh, selling right now then, right? It is actually yeah. on retail. Absolutely. Uh, how much um, is it? It, it retails at $199. Okay. You can buy it on Gillette.com. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, you can buy it on the Art of Shaving.com and the Art of Shaving stores as well. Okay. And some other retail. Okay. And what else do you have here? So today? this is slightly different. So this is a product that we're very proud of and it's very close to our hearts. Um, for for, for years, we've been working on products and, and you know that, that shave for yourself. Uh -huh. This is the first time that we actually work on a product to shave someone else. Uh -huh. So 4,000 approximately products designed, developed to shave yourself, uh -huh. none to uh -huh. shave someone else. Uh -huh. So this, was, this is the first that we've developed with caregivers and for caregivers. Uh -huh. The name Trio has three things. Uh -huh. It has the safety comb. Uh -huh. It has the design ergonomics of it because it's designed as a paintbrush uh -huh. because you're shaving someone else's uh -huh. face. And it has the convenience of the shave gel within it as well. Uh -huh. um, because typically when you shave someone else, caregivers, uh -huh. if, if you're the person who's being shaved, uh -huh. you don't have, you can't go to the bathroom, you can't have access to running water. Uh -huh. And this here gives you that shave experience uh -huh. with a built-in gel uh -huh. um, without having the need to put water before you shave. Uh -huh. okay. um, and we're very excited about showcasing this here at CES. Uh -huh. Of course, in addition to the award-winning... Uh, so, uh, I guess, you know, I didn't quite understand like how it would be different from a razor that you use to shave yourself. Yeah. Uh, that, so, that comb looks like it's very important, right? So I the guess. comb is different because yeah. keep in mind when you're shaving someone else, you don't necessarily have the right control that you have on yourself. Mm -hmm. So you need to make sure that the skin is protected uh -huh. at all times. Mm -hmm. uh, the handle is slightly different mm -hmm. than your typical one, mm -hmm. and the convenience of the gel as well. If you ask me who are the people who were the ultimate demographic for this, uh -huh. when we tested this initially, um, we had in mind people who have a disability that uh -huh. cannot shave. Uh -huh. um, the research came back with people who have multiple you know, disorders and movement in general, who, uh -huh. who cannot move, who cannot shave themselves. And that's why we focused our demographic on caregivers uh -huh. um, across the U.S. for now. Uh, but we're looking into um, hopefully maybe expanding beyond that as well. Uh -huh. Okay. Huh. And how much does this one cost? So this uh -huh. is... One product, so this uh -huh. does not is not replaceable. Yeah. It comes in a pack of four, uh -huh. a pack of eight, uh -huh. uh, and a pack of fifteen, uh -huh. and it starts at seven ninety nine dollars, so seven point ninety nine, and it goes up to twenty four ish dollars depending on the final retail price. Uh -huh. that you have at the retail. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Very cool. Uh, My name is Ahmed Riz. In case uh -huh. I didn't mention yeah. it in the beginning, <laughs> I right. work for the group. All right. Thank you. Thank you.